There's no other person that's speaking about this. People are dying. This is real. This is not TV. We need a president that's going to talk about it. I believe Ernie Sanders is a protester. When a police officer breaks the law, that officer must be held accountable. He's not scared to go up against the criminal justice system. He's not scared. That is a Bernie Sanders political video, and there we hear and see Erica Garner, daughter of Eric Garner, giving her reasons as to why she is supporting Bernie Sanders. You'll remember the story and the name, the person of Eric Garner, being killed two years ago during a parent chokehold when police tried to arrest him in Staten Island, New York. And Erica's support of Sanders comes at a crucial point as both Sanders and Clinton try to win over support from the African American voting bloc ahead of South Carolina's primary. Mary. And joining me right now is Erica Garner. Erica, thanks for your time today. Erica, I want to I want to make sure you can hear me. Can you hear me? No, it's really, really low. I don't know why it went so low all of a sudden. It's really low. How about now? Can you hear me now? It's really, really low. I don't know why. It's really low. Well, let's try this anyway. Okay. I just want to okay, ask now. you first. Now it's better? Yeah, it's better. Okay, so explain to all of us why you decided to throw your support behind Bernie Sanders, why you believe that he is the best candidate when it comes to enhancing and changing criminal justice reform in this country. Well, I relate to him. He's a protest. He's been protesting his whole life. He put his, his body on the line in Chicago in the 1960s to um, fight against housing inequality. And I just feel, you know, he's he can relate to me because he was an immigrant and where I live in Williamsburg during the Affordable Care Act, um, the Housing Act, um, you know, with t um, low-income tenements or whatever. He, he expressed about um, living in a low-income um, uh, tenement, low-income tenement. Like, he knows, like, the area that I live in. And, like, I just feel really um, connected to him. Did you, ever Did you ever consider what Hillary Clinton offers? Uh, four years ago, who I would vote for? I was a Hillary fan, but she changed. She changed in the last, um, well, she changed her whole career. She um, been been changing uh, different issues, talking about different issues her whole career, and Bernie Sanders has been consistent. And so this sets up this dichotomy within your family because your grandmother, your father's mother, supports Hillary Clinton. And I want to get your reaction to what Senator Sanders had to say last night regarding current state of race relations in the country. Take a look. So race relations would be better under a Sanders presidency than they've been. Right, absolutely. Because what we will do is say instead of giving tax breaks to billionaires, we are going to create millions of jobs for low-income kids so they're not hanging out on street corners. So why do you think his message is resonating with younger voters like yourself as opposed to an older voter uh, that might believe more in the message of a candidate Clinton? I think people in general should have an open mind and look at his record. His record speaks for itself. And by looking at his record, you will be convinced about him being the best candidate. He is talking about our issues, not only about the injustices, about the police. He says Sandra Bland's name, but also talking about our economic str str um, struggle, jobs, housing, school, um, taxes, welfare, Social Security. Like, he's talking about the real, real issues that our generation is struggling with right now. And and he told, and my main thing is about education. From, from K to 12, it's free. And when you try to better hire your education, you stuck with student debt for the rest of your life. And he said, like, um, with the real estate, you can you can um, de declare bankruptcy. But what about students? And it, it, it doesn't. I don't see like my six-year-old daughter has a chance at college, not because she's not smart enough. It's because of things like money. 
We know that Bernie Sanders is saying that he would propose a tax against Wall Street for the sale of stocks and bonds uh, and other items that go through Wall Street to pay for the $70 billion college industry to help make public college, of, well, college affordable to all Americans. Erica Garner, thank you for your time. Uh, my best to your family, and I know we'll be talking again through this campaign season. Thank you. Thank you so much. Hey, YouTube fans, I'm Luke Russert. Thanks for checking out our MSNBC channel. Subscribe by clicking right here and click any of the videos over here to watch the latest breaking news, mini documentaries, conversations from Shift, and other digital exclusives. Check it out.